everybody it's Beth and I am back doing a vlog style video on home decor DIYs. Today I'm going to be doing a few DIYs. Ignore the belt hanging on this like at this the office it's a mess. It's just a mess. It's just a tragedy. However um, not to worry we are going to be getting some of the home situation together today. So I know we've all been at home and the more you're at home, the more you're like staring at your home and you're looking at things and you're like, oh my God, like I just need to finish this or get that together or tie up these loose ends. So I am ready to add some art. Today I'm working on the family room. So it's not even cleaned up right now. The kids were just playing in here and they went up for a nap. Um, this is prime time, prime time real estate to be doing projects and things that I need to do while the kids are napping. So that's what I'm going to do. But the family room is behind me. So let me show you what it's looking like. It's all kinds of crazy, but let's just look at it. So the lights are off. Obviously there's toys and just stuff everywhere, but you can kind of get the idea. This is our couch. If you're wondering, it is the Crate and Barrel Lounge 2 sofa. And then we have this like big wall above here. And so for a long time, we've been thinking about what kind of art we want to put here. So last night on Photoshop, I designed some art to put here to DIY because obviously large scale art can be really expensive, but there's creative ways that, you know, to figure out how to do something that you want and to do it for less. So that's what we're gonna do. And then the second thing that I'm gonna be working on is uh, the mantle. It's awful, I know. But um, all of these glass things and like containers you see are all just going to be painted. So that's like my second project other than the art is to paint all of these to see if I can give it a more like modern ceramic look. So I'm going to be trying like the baking soda method and there's a few over here. <laughs> the eucalyptus. <laughs> Bless this crunchy eucalyptus. I'm actually going to try to make that eucalyptus look cute. I don't know if I can do it but we'll see. It's leaning over now. It's not <sighs> it's not doing well. And this plant just has to go. Like I <sighs> Look, I try to keep plants alive and it's just not working. It's not working. I just, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to water that plant and then I just don't do it. It's just kind of rude really, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be buying any more plants for a while. I love them. I love to look at them, but the kids dig up the dirt or they just die. <laughs> so maybe it's just not meant for me in this season, which is totally fine. Um, these Christmas trees I just got at Target. I'm obsessed with them, but they're not really styled here. This is just sitting here in a cup of water that is really seriously not part of the situation. But anyways, all this stuff, the books were originally like under there, under this table. Is this even showing? Yeah, under this table here, but I moved them because the kids kept like flipping through them and I don't like them flipping through my books. Do you wanna know why I don't like them flipping through my books? Let me show you. Cause this is what they do to their books. I don't want my books to look like that. So anyways, let's um, just get started. Let me show you guys these panels that I'm gonna be painting. So they're absolutely huge. Like here's a foot. So you can see how big they actually are. This one I still have to wipe down because it's pretty dirty from being in the garage. But we have these three large panels that were left um, over from a different project. So I thought, okay, like we can make art with these. And I was only gonna do two, but Daniel said we should do three. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get a base layer. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave, like if I want to tape off the borders and like leave a border of the wood around the edges or if I want to paint the whole thing. That's kind of what I'm hung up on. Because um, I've seen some different like plywood art where they kind of leave a border and it kind of gives it a little more definition. But what I don't want to do is like tape it and then decide I don't like it and then try to paint back because you'll like still see the line um, unless I sand it and it's just... Oh, I don't know. I didn't put a border on the, I think I'm not gonna do the border. I think I'm not gonna do it. 
because I think it'll look more clean and modern if I don't do the border and then um, we'll just let the art speak for itself. The I'm gonna set the camera up so that you guys can see me working on these. We're gonna get a base layer of white. I do want the background to be a little off-white, but I know I don't have enough like actual off-white. And I was actually thinking about taking some like spackling and actually like adding some texture onto these in order to make it look like really, really authentic and not just like paint, you know? So I think I'm gonna do that too because I think I do want it to have some texture to it. So let's get started. out the outline of like what the design is supposed to look like so I have an idea of like where I want to add the texture um because at first I was just gonna put the texture random but I think I kind of want to make it go with the design to even make it look more realistic this is a really awkward pose that I'm in here so I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> this is how it's looking so far the good thing about this stuff is that it turns from pink to white when it's dry so I'll know when it's okay for me to go ahead and paint over it but at first I was going like in the direction of the pattern and then I was like uh, I don't think I'm gonna like how that looks so I decided to just go more random so in the spots that are gonna be black this is the thing there's black gray and then there's like an off-white color so in the spots that are gonna be black is where I have the texture. And then wherever it's gray, which are like, I don't know if you can see, but like these shapes, kind of like some like outlining shapes. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like the flat wood board um, just to give it some dimension and all of that. So this is how it's looking so far. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the pots because I mean, I have to let this dry anyway. It's currently 3.39 and we have somewhere to be around like 6, 6.15. I'm gonna have to start getting the kids ready for that. So I am going to, I think I'm just gonna set like the last board on the end up on the wall so it can dry that that way. And then I'll use that little area where I already put paper on the floor. I'll use that area to do the pots. So let's do it, let's do it. All right, you guys, so there has been a new development in the saga of me trying to do things and them not working, but look. So I completely shattered this one, which was a really, really cool kind of like hexagon shape. And it is now in pieces. And so, yeah, I won't be able to use that, which is fantastic. I was really excited about that one. I thought it would look so cool, like matte, but the dreams have been literally shattered. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to sweep this up so that no one gets hurt and just keep it pushing. <sighs> All right, you guys, so this is what we're working with currently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vases. I had eight, but of course we lost one in the battle. Okay, you guys, so what I have here is obviously my pots. I have a piece of plastic so that the paint doesn't run because 
I just have these like lids from like plastic containers that I was going to use for a different DIY for the kids, but I've decided to use them to mix paint with, and this one has holes because it's from like strawberries or something, so I'm going to place them on top of this plastic, and then I have some paint brushes, and I have the paint, and the baking soda, which is supposed to make the paint be more textured and like almost like pottery, like clay-like, so I hope this works. I've seen a few people do it, so my hopes are high. So I have some like, this is um, a, a paint sample from um, Home Depot and this is black. And so I know I want to add a little bit of white in it just to give it a little bit, a little bit like not as like super black. So I'm just going to pour some, can y'all see this? Yeah, y'all can see. It's already like relatively thick in my opinion. Hopefully that's enough. I don't know. Okay, let's close that up. And I'm going to add some of this, like, it's like an off-white color. Not too much. Well, if I can open it, jeez. Ugh. Jeez. Oh. This one's so liquidy compared. Okay. Let me just see how this looks mixed up. That is insane. I know y'all saw that. The other one was so thick, and this one was so liquidy. That could have been a disaster. Honestly, the real disaster is me trying to mix this like this. Hold on a second, I have an idea. Okay, so I have these little paint cups. I mean, ice cream cups, they're not paint cups, but they will be paint cups today. Um, they're from Zara's third birthday party and I just have them with our party supplies. So I'm gonna like transfer because I don't know what I was thinking. Like, that's obviously just asking for a big mess once I add the baking powder. I guess I'm good with this. This looks good to me. Alright, so I don't know how much baking soda I'm supposed to add to this. So I'm just going to go for it. Okay, let's start with that. I should... <laughs> it's salty. It got in the air. Oh, it's in the air. Mm, I think it needs more than that. Because I'm guessing like it thickens it. It's definitely getting thick. I don't know if I can see this. The consistency has like drastically changed to a little bit more like like moosey, I wanna say. Like it has bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this. Guys, this is so fast. I thought it was gonna take way longer for some reason.
paint the whole thing. It just, I don't want the gold. Okay, my camera went off while I was filming, but I did this one. Can you see? I can't even see in my viewfinder what you can see. I think, yeah, you can see this. So I did this white, um, well, the off-white colored one. So I'm going to do the other two, but it's so fast. It really is so fast. How much better these look because I was getting ready to get rid of these bases I was like ah I, was like, I don't know if I want to keep these I'm not sure if I'm feeling the vibes but sometimes you can give things a whole new life just by adding some paint or just reimagining it in a different way and I only had them up on the mantle just to think about what I might you know can I paint these what could I do and they were up there too long. I was like, if someone comes over, people are going to think this is just my personal style. And you know, it was not cute. So, for this one, I'm just kind of like adding some texture because layering it is like really, really thick. And maybe it's not the best <laughs> to do. But I feel like... I could kind of save it by just giving it texture everywhere. But if you want to layer it, you probably just need to wait till it's fully dry, which is what I'll do with the other ones. But this one, I feel like I could get away with just kind of just give it a texture. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. All right, I got the gray color that I was looking for. I used white, black, and this mustardy yellow color to achieve this. And then I just added the baking soda. And here we go. Hey, you guys. I am vlogging from my phone because I literally can't be bothered right now. I'm so tired. It's 12 something AM. I shouldn't even be this tired, but I have not finished the project at all. And I kind of want to just push through and try to finish it tonight or some of it so I could show y'all something. Uh, because we went to the outdoor movie night with the family. It was actually nice, but it just went way later than expected. And then me and Daniel got to talking for like an hour. <laughs> and I just have been sitting here playing words with friends for the past like 15, 20 minutes. So I think I'm just going to go put on a sweatshirt and try. Let me show you guys what's going on right now. I'm just cold. Everything, everything, Lord. Okay, so I wasn't even recording just now, but I was just saying that the texture of these is kind of like, you can see like the texture in it, which kind of gives it that like realistic kind of like pottery vibe. Now the brush strokes are not, but from far away, you can't, you know, really see them. And then I was saying that this particular color I wasn't really feeling, but I'm just going to put it up and see how it looks. But I did end up painting over that one and I tried to wipe some of the wet paint off so it wouldn't mix and turn in like gray like light gray and so I wiped it off with paper towel and it got lumpy and but that just kind of adds to the charm you know so I'm gonna go put something warm on ignore all the stuff in the background I know it's a little bit of a mess but these obviously are dry so I might try to just at least do one of them you know what I'm saying like I'm tired but I gotta show y'all something
you guys look how good these turned out <sighs> I'm obsessed with these pots I love the look of it obviously it's not like finished but I'm so glad that I did the DIY because it really turned out looking really really good and I'm glad that I repainted this one dark but I am glad focus focus I am glad that I left the lighter ones because I do think I like them I just I like how it looks so it turned out good what do you guys think do you like it yes you do do you like it do you like it yeah, yeah. okay good I'm gonna paint a base coat of like an off-white color on this whole thing that's what I'm going to do, starting off. The other one is here, by the way. So, I'll do that, and I'll catch up with you guys. I'll probably watch a cheesy Christmas movie on my, on my laptop. So, after I charge this for a bit, I'll come back and check in with you guys. Okay, so this is where we are so far. Um, what I had started to do was to paint over everything, like one solid color of like the background color but it was taking so much paint to get into all the grooves of the texture that I was like, I'm gonna run out of paint if I do that. So I did two coats and I left them, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I left them kind of brush strokey because I kind of wanted to have that effect. So I only painted the areas that are supposed to be like this background kind of off white. And so next I'll go in and do like the super light gray and these outer areas and then last I'll do the black so it's like I'm layering it on top starting with the back the furthest back and then the next and then like the top layer so that's the plan for each of these hopefully they just turn out looking amazing that's the goal but we shall see so I'm gonna keep going Alright you guys, so here you guys can see I've added the gray parts into the paintings and I added a little bit of like just highlighting or whatever just to kind of add a little bit of dimension to it so it wouldn't be like just straight flat gray, just for a little something something. Alright you guys, so this is what it's looking like right now. It is, I don't even know what time it is, but this needs to dry. The edges of the black, I still need to touch up. 
um, and hit it from a couple of different angles. So I saved the paint and I will touch it up tomorrow. And then once it's like fully dry and finished, I will put it up. I won't hang it up on the wall, but I'll prop it up so you guys will be able to see like what it would look like in the family room. So let's hope it looks good, but I'm pretty happy with where it is now. So we will reconvene in the morning. Okay, so you guys just saw me basically just putting these up just to see how they're looking. Of course, there's still adjustments that need to be made to them. They're not finished, obviously, but I kind of want to get an idea for how it was looking. And I think it looks pretty good. Like, we're not really like so great with the, like art. <laughs> like, we don't have a lot of art, so it's kind of weird seeing something in this space. Um, but obviously, they'll be raised up so they'll actually be centered and i'm thinking of centering them on the wall and not above the couch i'm not really sure i'm gonna ask daniel what he thinks about that but um i think overall it looks pretty cool all right you guys so i'm going to go ahead and close out the video here i um am going to try to show you guys in a future video how i kind of like frame everything and get it on the wall and looking nice and everything like that. I know everything was 100% finished, but I hope that you guys still enjoyed this DIY home decor video. I thought it turned out really, really good. I'm very, very proud of it considering, guys, I literally spent zero dollars and zero cents on this. Like, that's incredible. So it just shows you what you can do if you just use what you have. So I hope you guys are inspired to do something in your homes. If you do, make sure you show me. Give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.